Hello friends, it's Luke the Gamer Duke. Today in Diablo 2 Resurrected, I must know. What the hell is the point of normal cow levels? Moo 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 moo. I remember running them way back in the day when you can only run them once per difficulty, unless you spared the cow king. Moo. But outside of some comic relief, I never remember getting anything worthwhile. Now that we can milk these guys over and over again, moo. what's there to find? Well, let's go find out. First off, let's address the elephant moo, moo, moo. in the room. Admittedly, I do know the primary reason to run normal cows, and it's for finding a regular polearm or longer broadsword to take over to our pal Larzuk, who can inset those fresh four sockets, as the item levels in cows is high enough for them to gain four sockets. Those sockets will be making insight into your polearms, or spirit into your swords. Unfortunately, since normal cows is certainly in the normal difficulty range, you cannot actually find four socket drops here. However, the item levels are the highest within normal's range, so what else can be found? Well, I grinded a modest 75 runs of 250 magic find for uniques and sets, and 75 runs with zero magic find for socket hunting. Let's see what normal cows has to offer. We'll start off with magic finding, and right away I want to keep in mind the ability to upgrade gear via the cube. You will come across tons of runes and gems in cows, and several normal uniques are definitely worth the upgrade. As far as the magic findings themselves are concerned, items were... interesting. The first 35 runs were unfortunately quite sparse, and what I did find wasn't exactly in the higher level range. However, there were a few worth upgrading, including the unique full helm, Dusk Deep, which includes plus 8 max damage and all res 15. And there were tons of unique Lanaimo Sashes, which has a pair of solid mana perks and will receive the 16 potion slot upgrade. Sparkling Chainmail dropped a few times, though is highly lightning focused. The only set items worth upgrading were a pair of Sanders Folly, including the heavy boots, Sanders Rip Rap. God, stupid cow, get out of here. Moo. With great movement speed and some strength and dexterity. And its counterpart, Sanders Taboo Heavy Gloves, with good attack speed and solid added life. The Nagel Ring for Magic Fine and the Minald Ring for Life and Mana Regen also fell. Cathens is here too, but Cathens is everywhere. After 35 runs, I got tired of not finding anything and added another 100 Magic Fine. So with 350 magic fine, let's milk these bastards for everything they're worth. Moo. And it's mostly powdered milk. The frequency increased, but the item value increase was negligible. The ones worth an upgrade though were Face of Horror Mask with its plus strength, Monster Flea, and 10 all res. Tarnhelm Skullcap for its plus one all skills and some magic fine and the Centurion Hard Leather for a bit to mana in life and life regen. I also found almost the entirety of Sigin's set, which are all higher quality pieces and combined makes one of the best normal sets. And for some reason there were tons of Arctic Furs to be found, which has some crazy scaled defense. And hey, the Cow King's Leather Hide. Strangely, several rares turned out much better than the uniques and sets, with both 250 and 350 magic fine. I won't go through them all, but some of the better ones included a pair of Barb Helms with plus the skills and resistance, and one has great plus life. A Bone Helm with Lightning Res and two sockets. A sash with all kinds of great perks, definitely worth an upgrade. A pair of shields with one being pally focused and the other a necro head, both with plus the skills. And a pair of really solid amulets, one with mana and a pair of resistances, and the other with resistance to everything. A pair of really good sorcerer's weapons with plus the skills.
and a Lockaber Axe? Uh, sure. So, magic finding can produce underwhelming to pretty wild results. So what about ditching it completely for socket hunting for rune words? There might be more opportunities here. We're looking for rune word potentials up to Io, as Nightmare Countess is only a hop, skip, and step away from normal cows, and she can drop hells and Io's within a reasonable number of runs. Let's begin. Melee swingers are looking for three potential item types. Two socket anything, three socket swords, and three socket hammers and mauls. Two socket melee anythings build strength. Its main draw is that crushing blow. Life leech and plus strength and vitality are great additions. However, 35% enhanced damage is a bit of a pittance, so you'll want higher end weapons. Three socket swords, or scepters, but swords are generally the better option, will build King's Grace. It's a great all rounder with 100% enhanced damage, additional damage to demons and undead, elemental damage, attack rating, and life leech. And there are tons of three socket swords to choose from. Three socket mauls, hammers, or maces, but let's be real. Builds black. Granted, it needs an IO, but this is a big daddy right here. Black is basically a modified bone snap. You get 40% crushing blow, great enhanced damage with attack speed, cold damage, plus vitality, knockback, and a few shots of corpse explosion, whose damage output scales with enemy health. Assassin should also be looking for three socket claws for pattern. And the Qatar types are bountiful, with all different shapes and sizes. Pattern is great as it includes faster block, great elemental damage, a bit to strengthen dexterity, and all res 15. The enhanced damage is a bit on the lower side, so keep that in mind. Amazons have a pair of missiles to choose from with two or three sockets. Two sockets build Zephyr, which grants additional run and attack speed and some decent lightning damage. Unfortunately, the enhanced damage is very shallow. Three sockets make Edge, which is a demon undead hunter with attack speed, life leech, plus to attributes, will provide level 15 thorns, and prevents monster heal. However, it includes 0% enhanced damage, so you will likely want higher end missiles for both of these rune words. The Sorceress is obviously searching for stabs, but is still only looking toward Leaf for fire focus, but includes plus 3 to fire skills, Inferno, Warmth, and Firebolt, and some cold resistance. And there are some really solid stabs to be found should that be the case. And lastly for weapons, Necros are looking for any 2 socket wand to fit their build for white, which will grant plus 3 to poison and bone skills, 3 more to bone armor, plus two to Bone Spear, and a whopping plus four to Skeleton Mastery. You'll also get some added life, mana, and caster rate. Moving on over to armor. Starting with Helms, anything two or three socket can benefit most every character. Two socket Helms are building lore, primarily for the plus one to all skills, as well as some added mana and lightning res. Barb and Druid Helms with plus the skills can take great advantage of lore. Three Socket Helms are making Radiance, which includes decent enhanced defense, a bit to life and more to mana, damage taken goes to mana, and plus five to light radius. Interestingly, I had a difficult time finding Three Socket Helms which were not Barb or Druid specific. There is one more Three Socket Helm, Bulwark. However, it is for ladder characters only, and does include an IO, but it is a beast helm for swingers. Everything is great here. Hit recovery, added life, life leech, life recovery, solid enhanced defense, and physical damage reduced by 10 to 15%. But again, only for ladder. Move. Heading on over to shield users, two and three sockets can still be helpful. The three sockets are looking to build Ancient's Pledge, adding insane resistances. Two socket shields are building Rhyme, which adds enhanced blocking, caster rate, mana regen, 25 all res, and some magic fine. Necros and Pallies should keep an extra eye out as several Pally shields include enhanced damage and or all res, and there were some stacked totem heads. And finally, body armor. 
which there's not much for. You can still get some use out of a stealth build by finding a higher level 2 socket piece. Otherwise, 3 sockets really only benefit 2 characters, Barbarians and Amazons. Amazons are building peace, which includes plus 2 Amazon skills, plus 2 more to critical strike, hit recovery, cold res, level 15 Valkyrie on striking, and cast slows missiles while being struck. And Barbarians are building myth, which is a bit less inclusive, but grants plus 2 to Barbarian skills, life regen, and a pair of Warcry castings. Neither Peace nor Myth include Enhanced Defense, so keep that in mind. Well, there we are, comparing Magic Find to Socket Find in Normal Cows. Granted, the Magic Find milking turned out a bit sour, but there was some upgrade potential and some solid rares, so can't totally knock it. But I'd say the real bread and butter was the Socket Hunting, especially given the number of runes that drop in Cows. There were tons of potential bases for rune words that can be viable through most of Nightmare. So happy hunting! Moo, 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 moo. But feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Have you grinded normal cows? How long did it take you to find the Cow King set? Or am I the only person who does this? Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this run through. Don't forget to subscribe! And for more D2R content, click here! Or click here if you're interested in my current review of Last Epoch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Adios!